Hi everyone, this is Becca from Becca's Music Room. I'm a teacher blogger who talks all about teaching tips, teaching life, music lessons, and just anything that might make your life hopefully a little bit easier. Today I'm here to talk about a super fun game. It is a super fun game. It's actually not musical at all, but it's really wonderful. So stay tuned so you don't miss it. At the end, I'm going to show my kids actually playing it so you can see it in action. It might be a little easier to understand if you can see it being done. So this game is really fun. It's called Cat and Mouse. I did not come up with it. It's one of those games that just kind of everyone knows. Actually, one of the teenagers who helps me with my children's church, because that's who I use this with, taught it to my kids and that's how I learned it. And it's so much fun, so I wanted to show it to you. I especially love it, and especially this week, the video you will see at the end, because I have a very diverse group of students. In my children's church, we have a lot of students from different countries, but their families are from different countries and they grew up here. A couple weeks ago, we got two families who were both from Tunisia in Africa and they just moved here and they do not speak English. And so it's been kind of awkward. I've got about eight students who only speak Swahili and then about 15 students who only speak English. And so trying to mesh them together has been just a little bit weird. We're still in transition. It's not bad and no one's being mean or rude, but you know, it's just a little bit different. So we're working really hard on that. And I was really excited about this game because it is the first game that has gotten them to really interact with each other on just a normal basis. How you play the game is you have one cat and one mouse and everybody else has a partner and they link arms. So you kind of do this and the other person puts their arm through here and links arms with you. The cat runs around and chases the mouse. The mouse can run around to escape them or the mouse can grab a hold of someone's partner and basically steal them. So if there's two people standing here and the mouse runs up and stands next to this person, then this person becomes the mouse and they have to leave and they have to run around and then they steal someone else's partner and someone else becomes the mouse. If a cat tags a mouse, then the mouse becomes the cat. So then the mouse will become the cat and they will run around trying to get the new mouse. So there's only one cat and only one mouse and everyone else is standing and have their arms linked and it keeps switching who is who is who. It's really fun because it's very high energy, but it also allows the students enough time to kind of calm down so they don't get tired as easily, which means you can play it even longer. So it's super, super fun. I'm gonna show a video of my kids actually playing it at the end, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here so that I don't have to come back at the end. I hope you are really enjoying all of this content and please let me know in the comments what you would like to see more of, whether that's lessons or games or teacher tips or teacher life or anything else. Just let me know because if I know, then I can do more of it. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share so that we can share the love with everybody else. And I will link all of our friending and sharing resources down in the description box. So like my Instagram and Pinterest and Facebook. And I'll also link my, my Teachers Pay Teachers and my blog and all those things so that you can get the full experience of all of my ideas. Like I have said before, and I will say again, I definitely do not have all the answers but I do have a few ideas and they might be different than yours, which is why I'm here sharing them with you. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video watching my students play cat and mouse and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of and also if you have ever played cat and mouse and if there's any way to make it musical because I have not thought of it yet. <laughs>